So, you'd like to buy a caravan? Well, I'm going to tell you the five things you need to know before you even step foot on the dealership forecourt or start trawling the internet. So stay right here and let's get you on your way to that new caravan. Number one. So the first thing you need to know is your vehicle tow weight. This is so important because it's really annoying when you find your ideal caravan only to find out that it's one kilogram above the maximum vehicle tow weight. That's the main reason to know what your vehicle can tow. There are lots of other reasons, but they're far too complicated to go into such a short video. So I'll be doing a whole video dedicated to the subject and I'll even be telling you how to find out that information using a step-by-step -step guide with whattowcar.com. Number two. Storage. I've lost count the amount of people that have found their ideal caravan only to realise it won't fit on the drive. So measure the drive before you go out. Or work out where you're going to store the caravan. Some storage yards are charged by the foot and some won't allow twin axles. So it's very important to know where you're going to store the caravan. For the same reason as before, it's so frustrating to find the ideal caravan and realise that you can't store it anywhere. Or you have to knock down half the house just to get it on the drive. Number three. Budget. Most people come in with a bit of a budget in mind, but fairly soon after coming in, they deviate from it. Now that's not a bad thing if you're happy with doing that, but it's nice to have something in mind when you walk into the dealership so you can at least narrow it down. Whether you're gonna start looking at the brand new ones or the second hand ones. And you don't have to spend the money. The ideal caravan could be less than you think. But with finance being a less scary prospect these days because of all the regulations, the next step up the caravan ladder might not be as far as you think. Number four, work out who will be using the caravan. Is it just two of you or will you have visitors? And how often will they be visiting? If it's only occasionally, it's best to go for your layout and they can make do when they come from the odd weekend. But if they come more often than not, you may need to have a bit of compromise in your ideal layout to accommodate them. You may need to think ahead on this as well. I mean, you don't want to go too far into the future because who knows what's going to happen. But have a think what's going to be happening in the life of the caravan. So say you want to have the caravan for five years, just have a little think about what will be happening in those five years so that the layout can change with your situation. This is such a big subject and one of the main reasons I started doing these videos. So again, I'll be doing another video just dedicated to that one subject. Number five, how will you be using the caravan? Now this sounds fairly obvious, but different styles of layout suit different styles of caravanning. If you're traveling around Europe and going off grid, you may need a different layout to if you're at a seasonal site and everyone ends up around your caravan at the end of the night. And why are these things all important? Well, when you think the average caravan to buy is 7,000 pounds, it can be a costly mistake if you get it wrong. And that's the aim of these videos. I really enjoy when the customer has the right caravan in the right situation. That's my job done, really. So that's just a quick introduction to the buying process. I have got so much more to tell you. So be sure to subscribe and click that little bell because that will tell you when a new video turns up. If you want to know a bit more about me and why I can sit here and talk to you about these things, then check out my bio video in the link below. If it's not there, it's just because I haven't quite done it yet, but it's coming, I promise. One more thing. It'd be great if you could share this video with your friends on Facebook. This is the beginning of the channel, but I can assure you there's a lot more to come.